Hi, welcome back to my channel. And today I have this unboxing from Dooney Ember. It's a small box because I have actually ordered a few wallets after my last trip to Pennsylvania. And I'm going to tell you why. And today it was just this one came. So, and I have a couple more that's coming. So I probably will wait till they are here and combine all the wallets video together. If you are not interested in listening me to me talking, you could skip directly to the, the part that when I talk about the bag. So the, the reason I suddenly into getting wallets because let me go grab my my wallet. So this is my wallet currently, the wallet I'm using. I believe this is a full grain leather wallet that's made by Lawyer Strictly. He made really good quality leather products. And to talk about wallet, I almost lost this one during my last trip. I mean, I did, I did lose it because I was at the parking lot while waiting for my friend in the car and KMM was releasing their scratch and dent sales so I was busy having my credit card out and ordering bags on my cell phone and then later on when we went to dinner I got out of the car having this wallet still still sitting on my lap and it just fell off on the, to the street without me knowing it and I only realized that I lost my wallet after after dinner after I was on the way back to my hotel and it was quite a panicking experience because it was two days before I was supposed to close on the house so without an ID there's no way it would work and also I would have trouble getting on the flight to come back to Austin as well and the scary part is this this wasn't the first time I lost my wallet. I remember last time was maybe a couple years ago. I also I lost my wallet when I was on a cruise ship and we were we were on a island in Spain, I think. And I dropped my wallet while I was on that island. It was scary as hell because I tried to I tried to find my wallet, I couldn't find it, and then I tried to report it and get help from the local police. But because it was, I think, after fall, they, they were off work already, so basically nobody there. And the cruise ship was leaving, I think, 5.30 or 6 that day. It was... It was scary, so... To simply put, it was very scary, and... And I have to... To try my best every way I could to find to find it, and luckily I dropped it right when I left the ship. So somebody found it, picked it up, and passed it on to somebody, the management at the cruise ship. So I found my wallet back, and this time I also very very fortunate to have found my wallet back because somebody picked it up and found the hotel room key card in my wallet and called the hotel. So both time I, I was very fortunate to to have found my wallet back and it's almost it felt like a miracle and but I don't want to tempt my luck again, you know. So I decided I'm gonna try different type of wallet especially when I travel. The type of wallet that has a like a zipper pocket so that I can put in an Apple AirTag. Yes, I'm going to I'm going to rely on technology this time. So when I travel, if something happens, it's less panicking. So the wallet that I'm buying and unboxing, it will be the theme is it has to have a zipper pocket so that I could hide a, an air tag inside. 
Usually, I, I don't want to carry a bigger wallet, but since I usually travel with a bag anyway, so I could just keep the wallet in my bag, so it's not so much of trouble. So, this was a, my story and the reason why I start buying wallets and want to try out different kind of wallets. And I mean, part of the reason I also, let's face it, I have bought too many bags and just have to try something else. <laughs> so, well, I hope my story inspired you. If you have never lost a wallet before, I would encourage you to try this method. That put an air tag in your wallet so that you don't you don't lose your wallet. Wow. They put in a nice box for their their wallet. I'm quite surprised because when you order the bag, the bag just kind of came in a plastic bag and a box. But if you order a wallet from Dooney and Bird, they actually came in a nice box. Let's open it up. I have no idea which one is this because I ordered two and they sent out separately and they didn't mention which and which is which so Oh wow I was like what the heck in the box I think this one is do silicone stuff to absorb the moisture but I was like What's that? Okay, so I guess I, I guess it right. This is Dooney and Bird small zip wallet in Florentine leather. I catch this one on one of their wallet sales. I think it was $39, which is amazing for Florentine leather. And I want to try like I previously bought a bought a kind of a tote and shoulder bag before, so I'll link the unboxing video up here. And this time I try the wallet. I kind of want to get a few of their fronting leather before I commit to buying a bigger bag and cost more. It feel really nice. It's not smooth though. It's evenly textured. Hope this looks good and closer that you can see the details you have this Dooney and Bird logo on the front you have this slip pocket that you can if you are traveling like in New York you can put your metro card or subway subway card or depending where you are so here is the zipper pocket that I'll use it to just put my air tag because I don't really carry coins anymore. So, wow, not sure you can see. It's interesting. I'm not inside of this wallet. It was lined with this red smooth material. Not sure what it feel like smooth leather, but also not. No, I don't think it's a smooth leather. But. It's a sharp color inside this, this kind of zip pocket. It must be some kind of a polyester material that more durable in case you use it for coins. So let's open it up. So inside the wallet you have one, two, three, four, four cut cut slot on one side and then another four on the other side. In the middle, it's nothing here. So you, you cannot put anything in the, from the middle, it's from the side. And then for this uh, dollar bills compartment, doesn't have a separate compartment, only one big one big compartment and it is it, lined with that same red material. Hmm. I need to figure out what kind of material is this. 
I'm, I think this is the first time I see this lining for from Dooney and Burke products. So if you are familiar with their wallet, please let me know. Their cards. Yeah, I I'm liking this this leather texture and I'll continue to unbox other wallets when they arrive and then here is the Dooney and Burke medium zip wallet. They often do sales on their website. So if you are interested, I think it's very affordable and it looks like a durable wallet because you see it's a it's, they use this metal zipper. Even the pocket also made a zipper. So I'm quite happy with my purchase and I'll continue other unboxing soon. The other wallet I bought from Dooney finally arrived. So here is my continuing of previous unboxing. This wallet is called Dooney Pebblegrain Medium Zip Around Wallet. You usually could get it probably less than $50 if, if they have a sale. Like my previous Dooney wallet unboxing, this one also came in a nice white cardboard box. I like this packaging. If you, if you are buying this for a friend, it would look like a nice gift. I wanted to test out both small and medium sized wallets to see which one would work better for me or which one I would like better. The one that came today is in their olive color. Beautiful pebble grain texture. Let's take it out from the box. On the front, you have this Dooney's logos patch in metal. And at the back, it's just plain pebble leather. I really like this color and the leather zipper tab is a nice touch as well. Zipper open up really smoothly. And this is inside inside the wallet interestingly it doesn't have the plasticky lining like the florentine wallet this one is just a fabric lining which i prefer let's take out the cards and looks like on each side it has four card slots and it's lined with the red fabric in the middle, you have this L zip that open up, open up the card slot. So you, you would have like, I think about four compartments inside that you can use it for dollar bills or cards or, or anything you want to put in. In my case, I'll hide a, my Apple AirTag there in case I lost my wallet again. Other wallets that I order they haven't arrived because of the ice storm weather that we have throughout the country. So that's it for today and we'll continue more unboxing next time. Bye.